everybody. Joe Patty here. And I always see people talking about what's in my purse. So let's see what's in the purse of an artist. Here you go, everybody. <laughs> and I swear to God as my witness, strike me dead if I'm lying, I have not gone through this. I didn't go through this first and cipher through anything or to hide anything or whatever. It's just time for me to clean out my purse, I think, and I just want to go see what's in it. So, first pockets here. Let's see. Let's get everything out of here. <laughs> kind of fun, actually. Finally going through it. Well, <laughs> okay. Everything out. All right, that's one side. This is the one side, and let's go through that. Okay, so on the one side, I have my gloves. My nasal spray, because I'm stuffy and I got sinus problems. Two kinds of cologne, and I got both of these at, uh, let's see, where was that? Kohl's. I love it. It's cold. Warm, clean cotton, and pure grace. Pure grace smells really good, everybody. I love it. That's that. And then warm, clean cotton. I'll just mix the two together, because I'm in the mood for it. Oh, boy, that smells so good. You guys got to get some of that. Clean, warm cotton. That's a smell that stays with you. It stays on you. You can spray it and get out of the car, you know, and walk around, get groceries. Just a half hour later, you're still going to smell it. It smells that good. This was my dad's. It's this old hanky, like one of those old scarf things that old men or women carry around. And I've just been carrying it around since he died. I never know I'm going to need. I said I got coffee stains on it, whatever. And then my ibuprofen, whatever, and my Lysol spray. I spray stuff, lots of stuff. Toilet seats and stuff wherever I go. And a loose quarter. And a condom. And I'm going to show you the other side is the name of the bar that I work at. I bartend somewhere. My boss makes me give out condoms to everybody with the logo of the bar on there. So I always pass these condoms out after somebody gives me a tip. <laughs> I have to. It's part of the job. Okay, now let's get to the middle. I got my wallet. My dad's wallet, notebook, spare keys to lots of stuff, to my job, doors, and stuff like that, and a spare key to my Jeep. This was my dad's wallet. I carry that around. It's got all my credit cards and a little bit of money in there, coupons for the dog bones, my chef's uh, certificate, pictures of the kids, the grandkids, and the dog. And just stuff like that. That was my Zora when she was puppy. She's been gone two years now, so I still carry that stuff around. All right, that's that. And that was in the middle pocket. Now, got the other pocket on the other side. Let's see, I got my Kohl's coupons. And this was a thing. I just picked up the Jeep because uh, the brakes were bad. It was an $816 fix. All right. That was that. Now it's just two days ago. All right. I got my mouthwash. I got some hand lotion. Always need that. <laughs> I got rocks and sticks. It's a bag of... Uh, I carry this little baggie around. So I just find stuff or I pick up stuff that I find. And never know when I'm going to make some artwork out of it. And that's a, like a popsicle stick from, from a yogurt bar that I ate. And just different things that I found. There's some really pretty rock in here. Real pretty stones. I found a couple arrowheads too not too long ago. And the weirdest stones have the weirdest colors. Let me get one. I want to show you something I found a couple weeks ago. Now this stuff isn't in my wasn't in my purse, but I like to collect rocks. I go out and collect rocks. When my one daughter was younger, she used to paint them all the time. I go get rocks and she would sit on the porch and paint rocks, but I thought some of these were really neat. Look at this one. Isn't that weird? Look at that rock. Found that. And there's some real shiny black rock. And some more of that little marble looking stuff on the rock. And this one's kind of like a two tone. Look at that. It's just so weird. I you know you guys probably aren't too interested in it, but I think it's cool. I'm an artist, so I like all these unique little fine things. And that's just uh seashell. I don't know where it came from, but okay. All right. Well, that was that. Not in my purse. 
All right, what else is in here? I can get this stuff out. Here's another wallet. Get my little owl wallet. I got my sanitary spray, my card swiper, my sell artwork on the go or whatever, and my business cards. Those are my business cards. I got the shiny part there when I'm doing a pour. It's kind of cool. Advertising my YouTube channel on the back. They're really cool and shiny. Oh, look, there's a dollar. <laughs> These are admission tickets to my son's graduation on December 15th, class 41. He's graduating high school and graduating the uh, academy, his little boot camp from the National Guard up there at the academy. And it all takes place on December 15th, and they're even going to have the drill team come out and do their little march and flip their rifles around stuff. So it's going to be fun. And I got a little cord there, a bar chip, free drink, a receipt, another uh, $116 to fix something on the Jeep. $116. I'm trying to think what that is. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I forgot. I paid that in two credit cards. So actually the full price was $916. $504 in parts, $267 in labor, $42 in tax. Oh, I see. Okay, I paid. All right, never mind. All right, I paid in two parts, so it was only $800 and something. Okay. Thing of toothpicks. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I had electrical tape that I keep in there for good luck. This was my dad's. Um, he was an electrician, and he also worked at the top secret department at Goodyear in Akron, Ohio. He used to travel a lot, rode the Goodyear blimp, done some really cool stuff in his life. But you never know when you need a piece of good, strong tape, right, everybody? Here's a mask. Sometimes when I'm at Walmart even, I might put it on if I go down to get my nasal spray or something, and there's a bunch of old people coughing down there, or kids coughing and hacking, so... Look at all that dog hair on there. All that loose little Zeusy hair is everywhere. No wonder I can't breathe. My house is just full of dog hair. Oh, well. That's a lot of love for you there, boy. Some more drink chips. Here's a thing for my car that I forgot I had in there. <laughs> what else do I have in here? Another drink chip. <laughs> a lot of drink chips for somebody who don't drink that much. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go into the last side pocket. Another dollar. My Advil. Let's see what else. I got some um, raspberry lemonade blast Blistex chapstick that you definitely need this time of year. My lipstick, pretty brownish shade. What is the name of that? Smoked latte. Okay. My Tic Tac gum and my little bear low dose aspirin. Doctor told me to take that if I get chest pains or something. I don't know. Okay. My eye drops. More eye drops. This is for my right eye because, you know, I've got problems with my eyes. A lighter in case I want to have a cigarette on the go. <laughs> um, got my inhaler. Got my fingernail file. Got my portable cigarette. I can actually take this in the movie theaters or whatever. <laughs> Blue. Okay. Um, what else? More stuff on eye ointment for my right eye. And last but not least, my knife. I get this out sometimes, like if I'm in a parking lot or I got to, you know, hopefully it's not dark yet. I try not to put myself in those positions, but, you know, you never know when you need it. And I just kind of get it out and have it in my hand and get it ready because I'd rather throw it at somebody coming at me than take my chances with anything. I don't know. Okay, everybody. Um, that's it. That's what's in an artist's purse. Nothing. A lot of bunch of nothing. You think you'd find a paintbrush or something in here? No. I don't do it like that. I don't travel in paint, I guess, in, with stuff in my purse. But I'm glad I cleaned it out. All right, everybody. That's what you get in an artist's purse. A bunch of nothings. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Arrivederci, everybody. Happy holidays.